What's going on, everybody? Professional singer David Braley here, and I've got another amazing clip. I hope. I believe. I can't wait to see it. It's Stray Kids. No delay. Let's get to it, because party's not over. I love their the, the hoodies. I love that. That looks fun. Hey. I'm telling you, they are the manipulators of levels. The you come into it and you think, oh, it's kind of a soft feel. I'm not expecting a party that's, oh, that's you know, not going to be over. If anything, maybe this is the last song. Oh, no, they just misled you. What are we going to do? We're going to keep partying. See that that change that change in the style? Every time there's a little stylistic change. Subtle, but it just brings you in. Layer. Now it's chop ba 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 ba. Yeah, man, mixing those really kind of caramelly sort of uh, verses or even a chorus, just a section with all this sort of very aligned and then just bop, 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 making it staccato and just changing it up so quickly. That type of change, again, another feel of the song and it's another way to drag the audience with you. It's just giving you more layers, more texture. Each part has a different or more or another layer or a different addition of texture every single time they come back to it. I kind of do want to see them at a party. That would be interesting. See how the uh, Golden Boys do with a couple of beers in them. That'd be that'd be interesting to see this group uh, uh, enjoy themselves on a, a couple of drinks because they look like they'd be a lot of fun. See levels easy, but it draws you right. What's next? Oh, what's happening now? Another level. See that? That that's tension, right? Drag it into the chorus. What? It's just, it's like. I mean, it's such a common thing for so many different styles of music, EDM especially. It's so big on to just uh, to building these levels where it goes real quiet, then all of a sudden nothing. Then a crazy beat just drops and everybody goes nuts. Rock music does it differently, maybe with a guitar slow, solo, and then they jump to cut time. Big band music jumps back and forth between cut and common time. One, two, one, two, three, four, back and forth to give these levels. And these guys are doing the exact similar thing exact same thing within their own music within their own style and i'm telling you every time i listen to it i feel that draw and again this is an objective thing this is a trick it's not these are i'm not going to pop this in my playlist tomorrow but what i'm going to tell you is that these guys know what they're doing when they're writing music and when they're creating videos really know how to take you pull you in with them that's why they have such a great fan base just pulling everybody in taking everybody in for the ride and and, and 
you can't help. It's like a, it's like the perfect formula. You can't help but just follow. Pulled it back. Oh, camaraderie. I'm telling you, man. I, and you know what? I kind of got a little flack over it uh, uh, on one of the last, I don't know, forgot which one it was. It was Stray Kids, though. It might have been BTS. Anyway, uh, I, it was a Korean pop group that uh, I said, and I, I utilized it. Uh, utilized boy bands i kind of use them as like a, a reference point and the thing is when you see scenes like this this is legitimately like if i had the ability right now to do it live and just i mean i could just go research it and all that sort of stuff but that take ages and i got stuff to do outside of this what i'm telling you is that i swear you could go on any insane backstreet boys oh the spice girls this shot right here the band at the front at the lip of the stage all hugging together every single one of those groups did exactly that now there's nothing wrong with them doing this i'm just simply saying that this is one of those great connections that we have that that you you see all the time with these groups but it's like that like i said that formula it doesn't break and it doesn't break for a reason there's a reason good songs are good songs and it's not just because the lyrics are nice or the chords are pretty it there are tricks and tools they know them they've got them perfected and, and they use them in every single one of their songs and it's why it's so just captivating and just awe-inspiring you just got to keep listening to it so good so good man love it what a great group what a great, uh, what, what, a, what great videos that they, that they have all the time, surprising me with different stuff, but also just showing me that this is what they do. They know the ropes. They know how to write music. They know how to bring people along on a ride. And the thing is this group, they're fun. That's what they're out there for. They're out there for the fun of it. They're having fun on stage. Their audience interaction is fun. It's engaging with the audience and the audience loves it and eats them up. And when you listen, you can't help but smile and, and enjoy yourself and bob your head because they just, they know all the tricks. They know them perfectly. And they're going to put them everywhere, anywhere and everywhere you could find them. And honestly, they work every time, every single time. Huge fan. Can't wait for more. Talk to you later. Bye.